ロングタイムミュージックフリークなんでキャラクターの一人という言い方はとても今ぴったり来たと言いますかまさにそういう気持ちで作っていたと思いますシネチューロ・ワタナビーズプロセスが見分けられるのは3つの Why is music so important in visual storytelling? Well, let's take a second and think about up. What does everyone remember? I bet it's the married life sequence. I think for me, all my favorite moments on screen are usually accompanied by music I adore. Hey, I always remember the opening of The Incredibles for its bombastic promise delivered through Michael J. k i n o s school. With the calm conclusion of Princess Mononoke paired with the heart of Joe Hisaishi. Music is essential in visual storytelling to underscore the emotional promise of a moment, but it can do so much more. And when I think of a creator when it comes to music and animation, only one name rings true. Shinichiro Watanabe. Over the breadth of his creative work, the epic, far reaching anime series he has produced, there are only three words that I can think of that sit right at the center of his inspiration music, music, music. Okay, only one word. Let's have a look at his process. <laughs> How many of us have been listening to music and imagining the world a song inspires in our heads? I do that a lot. When I hear music, I really see it visually. And stories start to emerge. Watanabe's collaborators often say in meetings they just discuss what music they've been listening to. So, you go, Ega, Nanita. So, you to Puro, Oko, Tuning, Shinagara, and a t a s h i idea, Hanashinagara, it's good t h a k a n a k a the Kiru, Kanto, San, the Amarina, the Tua, I can't, she got only Kanke, and I don't want it, so no, that's done. Imagining the world he needs to create doesn't begin with an image like Hayao Miyazaki's process. For him, it begins with a sound. And even throughout his process, he brings in collaborators who share the same sensibilities. For instance, Dai Sato, a collaborator and writer, was originally something else. He hired a lyricist to be an actual writer, bringing the flavor of sound into writing. That musical influence stayed in Sato's work, following the principle they developed of naming episodes after songs. The idea of a collaborative spirit is central in music. Any musician will tell you when they're jamming and in sync, the creativity released is unparalleled. Animation can often be a lonely endeavor. Drawing by its very nature is always by yourself, even if storytelling is collaborative. Watanabe seeks to bend this process by bringing in other artists, like musicians, to add their flavor to the shows he makes. Take Space Dandy, for instance. Each episode is a different team with full creative control over story and design. And you know, I think it really did. Just look at Masaki US's episode. Watanabe enjoys when his collaborative partners take the initiative and compose from their own perspectives. Even with the legendary Yoko Kano, the incredible composer who scored so many of his series, he's quick to point out. First, 
マッセリン彼女はインスピレーションを膨らませてハブイビバップにはこういう曲がいいというふうに、えー、勝手に曲を作ってきましたそういう曲を聴いて僕もまたインスパイアされて、えー、新しいシーンを作ったりもしましたそうやって僕が作ったシーンにまたインスパイアされて彼女が新しい曲を作ってきたりもしました It's kind of like a circle. Inspiration, inspiring, inspiration. Which leads to his next step. まあそういう好きな部分は入ってくるだろうけどでも全体として見たら見たことがないなという見たことがないものを作り作るのが When you take two things and mix them up, you get something totally new. Watanabe understands this principle so well. What about a detective noir in the Wild West, but with a jazz twist, but it's in space? How about hip hop samurai? Or a rags to riches story set in the future, and oh yeah, it's the X Factor. This way, he's not just imitating a genre, and like Cowboy Bebop states. No Watanabe show is like the previous in terms of a visual style or story, but you do see threads seeping through. Character archetypes that can inhibit the world he creates. In inviting other people, he tries to break the mold of his own biases without breaking the fundamental structure of the concepts he's presenting. So, 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 えー、スタイルの作品を作りたいというふうに思いました、えー、そのために、えー、各エピソードが全くスタイルが変わっても構わないし、えー、各話がいろいろな惑星一本ごとに、えー、全く見たこともない新しい惑星に行くというストーリーにしたのはその各話がいろ,いろんなスタイルを取れるようにどんなにその作品のスタイルが変わっても作品として成り立つようにと。And I think when you establish this formula, it strangely transcends itself. It stops being formulaic because setting the stage with experimentation means you will always try something new. Embracing the potential failure of something not quite clicking actually cracks the shackles of perfection. First, let me explain the concept of diegetic and non diegetic music. Non diegetic music can often be the score. It exists outside the world of the story, it can't be heard by the characters. Whereas diegetic music means the opposite it's music in the world of the characters, within the reality of their world. And within that reality, they can hear it. And of course, with Watanabe's draw for music, it was only a matter of time before he made full blown, musically focused shows like Kids on the Slope or Carol on Tuesday. Of course, a lot of his stuff is original, but for Carol on Tuesday, he commissioned music for the reality of the show. And as he's noticed, it is an anime based on music, but the difference with the rest of music anime is that we really dedicated ourselves to creating good music. I've been a music freak for a long time, so I can confirm I've dedicated myself in creating good music with lots of investment in time and costs as well. You see, often what happens in animation, the feeling of someone performing is evoked, but rarely is it animated correctly. <laughs> In 
In a story where music is integral, there can't be corners cut in terms of a musical performance. In Carolyn Tuesday, I love how the animation is captured in everything but the lip sync. That always felt a bit off for me. However, in the reality of the world, an authenticity shines through knowing the actual musicians perform these elements of the show. The care and attention to detail really reinforces the verisimilitude in the story. You can see how important music is to Watanabe. It serves multiple layers in his process, sparking inspiration, creating collaboration, and keeps the ideas fresh by mixing genres, even going so far as to make entire stories based around music. So why is music so important to visual storytelling? Well, to me, music is a deep connection. When I think of my favorite shows, my favorite movies, it's actually the music that stays with me the most. Of course, I can be impressed by visual elements and immersed in a world like that. But I can tell you, the Spider-Verse wouldn't work without Daniel Pemberton. Lord of the Rings wouldn't have stayed with us so long without Howard Shore. And the worlds of Hayao Miyazaki wouldn't feel complete without Joe Hisaishi. More than anything else, to me, music is true communication. Without words, it speaks an emotion that anyone can understand. Through it, you form your own meaning, very personal, often beyond the creator's intention. When your heart smiles, music flies alongside you. And when your heart breaks, music gives it that voice. It's very difficult to explain a song's meaning to someone, but if you play it, and occasionally put your own imagery to it, it may just speak to them in a new and meaningful way. Let the music do the talking. Hey everyone, it's good to be back. I hope you've been enjoying the incredible conversations I've been able to share in the channel, but don't worry, I know you want more video essays as well. I want to thank all my patrons for supporting this video, especially those who stayed with me. 2024 is going to be the year of animation, so stick around for more content like this. And of course, deep dives into other creative inspiration, including my podcast, Animator's Breakfast. Thanks for watching.